The Underwater Observatory Marine Park is an integral part of the Gulf of Eilat. This sea is part of us. For over 30 years, we have been studying, investing and working to preserve the sea creatures, our neighbors. One of the most fascinating projects we are working on is the preservation of sea turtles, which are at risk of extinction in the Gulf of Eilat and all over the world. Sea turtles are marine reptiles with lungs and they need to rise to the water surface to breathe. Turtles that get caught in fishing nets cannot rise to the surface to breathe and so they drown. Another key reason why their numbers are dwindling to the point of extinction is plastic bags. The horned sea turtles, which are very common in the Red Sea, feed mainly on mollusks and sponges. Jellyfish are also part of their diet. The sea turtles think that plastic bags that are carried out to sea are jellyfish, so they eat them and then choke. Following research we carried out at the Underwater Observatory Marine Park, we have found a way to help preserve the sea turtles through a reproduction project followed by restoration to the wild. In the spring, our male sea turtle, whom we call Zcharia, inseminates the females and after two months they come up onto the sandy island in the center of their pool where they can dig a nest with their hind legs and lay some 30 to 80 eggs. Once this is done, the females cover the nest with sand and return to the water. The sand and warm sun function like a natural incubator and within six to eight weeks, the eggs hatch and out come the tiny turtles, each weighing only about 15 grams. The moment they hatch, they are exposed to many risks because of their size. We collect the tiny turtles and raise them in the pools we built specially for them. We provide them with controlled meals and regularly monitor their weight and size. They grow with us until they are one year old and then they are moved to the turtle pools according to their size. At the age of three, when they are strong, their shell is hard and they have a good chance of surviving in the wild, we release them into the open waters of the Red Sea Gulf. The Underwater Observatory Marine Park in Eilat is the first place in the world that has succeeded in increasing the numbers of this species in captivity. Our success derives from studying their environmental conditions and implementing them at each stage of the reproduction process of these sea turtles.